mission, core values, vision is communicated to any new employee. One of the most important things that I've learned as a business owner is leaders need to pull your team versus push your team. And one of the best ways to pull your team together so that we are all achieving our goals and enjoying working in this community is to really be aligned to mission core values and people understanding what our vision is, what we are working towards. Um, I still on every single conversation, any coaching opportunity, a lot of it comes back to, um, are we aligned to our mission? Are we performing and modeling our core values? And it's consistent reminders about that that keep people grounded in why I'm here in the first place. I'm here because for this company, I'm aligned to the mission that we create a community where anybody feels safe and inspired to strengthen their body and mind. I'm here because core values of this team around teamwork and passion, integrity and excellence, this is exactly where I wanna be. Leaders need to continuously remind your teams about that because it can get really, it's easy to get lost and forget the real reason why we're here in the first place. So mission, core values, vision is communicated to any new employee. Actually, it's communicated to them when they're doing their yoga teacher training, like before they even start working with us. We started in their training program. And then when they start to become a sub teacher or they own a class, it's already they were trained that way. And that's what a lot of the reasons why we uh, created the Leadership Institute in the first place, because I felt like I was retraining teachers. They train somewhere and then they come here and I have to retrain them the way that I wanted it to be done in the hot room studios, right? So we first have those conversations in their teacher training programs, no matter if they're going to work for us or not, because I think that that information can be transferable to anywhere that they land. And then once they come onboarding with us and they become an employee, uh, part of their onboarding process is um, a really uh, conversation like this, sharing from my perspective how this all started and why we are here together and what it means to be on this team and, and what we're working towards, right? It's not just a, um, if it's just a paycheck or if it's just a thing that uh, yoga status of being a yoga teacher, then we're in the wrong, we're, it's for the wrong reasons, right? We have to be aligned to this. And um, that is a conversation that happens before they're an employee, as soon as they become an employee and with every conversation that we have, whether it be weekly updates, whether it be coaching opportunities and feedback, it is all goes back to mission and core values. You cannot communicate your mission, core values, vision, email. <laughs> On it's, we have it literally on actually I wish I could show you but it's this is a work computer that I took from the studio it still has the label on it right here below the camera of our mission statement it is it's posted everywhere so that the our, our teams have easy access to it but again all of our conversations all go back to why we are doing this why we are asking you to do these kinds of productivity um, uh, deliverables is to support our mission. But you got to understand your why. It can get really lost. Why do I have to call 20 people today in my shift? Like, why does that, is, is this even doing anything, you know? And so to back up and be like, yeah, 
we are asking you to do this and this is why. And it all goes back to these actions will lead to this and that supports our mission. I would say also, you know, um, one of the most impactful things that you can do on a regular basis for yourself as a business owner is set the time aside for your own continuous learning, whether it be spending time connected with mentors or maybe other studio owners in your mastermind group, such as, you know, Boutique Fitness Solutions, reading constantly, podcasts, like there is always time set aside as a business owner to continue to up-level your leadership skills and that can get lost in the midst of everything. So please make sure you do that on a regular basis. <laughs> hey everybody, Jessica Lachance here. Do you want more business education for your fitness studio or wellness business? Subscribe to our YouTube channel or our email newsletters and we'll see you here soon.